Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game this evening at Tiger Stadium. The New York Giants hosting the Soul Singers. And welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's Soul taking on New York. The Singers are 11 and 7. The New York Giants are 21 and 4. Last game I said Seoul was not a playoff team. They are. Coming your way next. My apologies for that. They are 11 and 7. They're in third place in the GBL right now. Solidly in third place. So they will be going to the playoffs. I could actually meet them. Just about set to go. And today's starter. Domingo Herman on the bump for the New York Giants. He's 3 and 0 in the year. No ERA. 15 strikeouts. I switched to the other New York Giants home uniforms in the game here for this game. Still don't have the names on the back of the jerseys. I, I prefer that. that they, they have the names. So I won't use these again. I'll go back to the orange home jerseys that I was using previously. In the air, left field, down the line. A lot of ground to cover, He's and he gets there. Down. Nice play. I think that's Juan Soto out there. It is. So digging in, ha -sung Kim. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. Got, Got him. Swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that I'm that sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping Ready. for. A bit of a mistake, Ready. and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break This was is the monthly awards Freddy mini season. Up to the dish. Just about finished with the regular season for strike one trying to win the championship Freeman, he get that 99 Carlos Pena card mom Rosemary she died of melanoma skin cancer back in 2000 and that's one of the ways that Freddie honors her every game in the air fairly deep to right field judge puts the squeeze on that one and that's the third out no score as we head to the bottom of the first Soul, nothing, New York coming up. Michael Waka on the mound Michael for Walker. the Singers. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout. According to this, it's his first start of the season. I don't know if it's true with only three games left in the regular season. But you never know. I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for the pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And now one and two. Julio Rodriguez with a good at bat to start the game. Good eye right there. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. No question. 
Ground ball uh, right side. That was probably ball and four, but through gets for through for a base hit. Off to a good start with a lead off down. Not going to complain. Have to see where that was. Ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Oh, it was a strike. Speed on first, so we'll see if they Low in the zone is a good motion. pitch, actually. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And first offering is fouled off. Rodriguez on at first. Nobody out. Mm. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. He's like, can you believe that changeup? In the air, out towards right center. Doyle in position. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Batting third, the left fielder, Juan Soto. Here's Juan Soto. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. I'm going to send him. He delivers. Runner takes off speed off. pitch. He's in there easily. Oh, the second and great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there. Nice the stolen base. That's order. probably an accurate number. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base. But it's early in this ball game. I can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Swings and misses, and the count one and two. Just a, what a little terrible too quick pitch. on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. One out and a runner at second. Walk is at 16 pitches this inning. That was a ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going. There you go. There Gets through. Julio is going to round third, and he's going to try and score. Play. He's in he there safely. Easily, the Giants one take a one-nothing lead. Go. Great at bat by Juan machine. Soto. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Pitch out, but no action. Aaron Judge in 2016 got 95 plate appearances and hit just 179. He kept that number, 179, in the notes section on his iPhone the entire offseason. And then in 2017, he had 52 homers and won the Rookie of the Year. And so was that the trick? That one. You keep keep yeah, it in your notes, and it makes you better Judge for next the season. Star team wins the home run derby down there in Miami. You're gonna tell that story. You should step it into the bright put a, lights another so detail a or two in there. In this Tie it all together. Did he look at it every morning when he woke up and was drinking his coffee? Did he look at it every night before he went to right bed? To was it just the there? He never looked at it at all. To Freddie, double play. Tell us, Boog, tell us. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's an early one nothing lead. That was a great at bat by Juan Soto. Back here at the ballpark. And the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Now, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The pitch. Herman had a very solid first inning. Is inside ball. Only needed seven pitches. 
just off nope, the outside edge. Ball. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire boo. Pretty Earl consistent doesn't blink. with his zone. So if you're familiar with <laughs> him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but right. nothing too crazy at all. Two and one. And that's in for a strike. Got yeah. him swinging. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. So up next, James Outman. Pitch misses inside, ball one. And that one off the outside edge. Two will count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. This inning not as smooth as the first. And now it's even up. Not, not bad, though. Gets a piece and stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Hit um. on the curveball, struck him out. A pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. And here is C.J. Crone. That one's in there. That's strike one. And a pitch. There's the strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Got him. He swung over top of the curveball. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We move to the bottom half of the second inning tonight at Detroit's Tiger Stadium. The New York Giants won the Soul Singers. Back nothing. now in a new arm on the mound to start the bottom of the second. Number 67. Pretty tight game. Keaton so Wynn, he's 0-1. With an ERA of 6.2. Right where it is. Bellinger up to hit. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The wind of the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Cronenworth. Over to first. In time. Nice stretch. That looked like a painful stretch. Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki now at the plate. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there's so many terrible the swing off the bat. Automatically, that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he oh. just takes it away. Right handed reliever. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, 
and where that pitch is going to end up, ah. which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Going Way out in front of that. The hand, it just it's sort like of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out. There's a base hit for Whit Merrifield. That's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four seamer. Seems like he got exactly what he was. I'll go along with it right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now it's Matt Chapman on the ground to short. Oh, Matt! They get the force. That's the inning. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Now the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the eh, we're going to let Herman pitch one, one more one batter. Here. Now the corner for a strike. It's 0 1. Maybe two. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. One ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Not a great curveball there at all, but clearly he wasn't looking for it because it just dropped right into the happy zone, and it looked like to me the swing was a little bit late. <laughs> into the happy zone. Early and then just try to have that emergency Seven inch break. Last second to put it in play. And there was a strike. Right in the happy zone. Now it's the right fielder, Brenton Doyle. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it for him. Let's bring in MacArthur for the save. James MacArthur gets the ball now. Six and games, six slider. saves, no ERA, seven strikeouts, no walks. In the game, I'd say spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. That one's in there, 0-1. On one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And he'll two. Just misses Ooh, the mark outside it. the zone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And now here is Brett Sullivan. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Oh, and two now. Oh, and come on. Way through for a hit. So the inning is still alive. That was Juan weak, Soto man. Coming to the dish. We should have had that. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the left fielder, Juan Soto. Lifted in the air, right field. Judge is under it. That's okay. Giants win. 
These three inning games often come down to who scores first. They found a way to push one across and hold on for the win. One nothing the final. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Domingo we'll Herman gets the victory. Michael Walker takes the loss. He, he pitched pretty well. James MacArthur earns the save. Waka didn't pitch poorly at all. Threw a lot of pitches, but he was not off of his game by any means. Aaron Judge with the final out of the ball game. The New York Giants scored one run on three hits. The Soul Singers no runs on one hit. Domingo Herman's your player of the game. He got the win two and a third innings. Perfect. With five strikeouts, James MacArthur earned save number seven. Julio Rodriguez one for one. Whit Merrifield one for one. And Juan Soto was one for one with an RBI. So Domingo Herman improves to 4 and 0 on the season with no ERA. He's pitched very well. Michael Walker falls to 0 and 1. James MacArthur gets the save. His ERA remains at 0. So at Tiger Stadium this evening, the New York Giants slip past the Soul Singers 1 to nothing. Hope you had fun. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next time.